Okay, we're gonna play this game basically just until. I was wondering to play more. We're gonna play this game just until we can talk to Murray because he's gonna be in the Return of Monkey Island and he's an important character. Char he's an important character. Yes. He's the best character. He is best character. We tried doing this once before, but like uh, technical difficulties made things hard. Curse of Monkey Island. We're missing the O. The monkeys are listening. <laughs> Lucas Arts. Monkey Island. Wow, the quality sucks. But I guess that's because this game was, what, 640 by 320 originally or something like that? Or 40 by 640? It was not designed to be played on a Captain's giant Captain's Log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small Damn drink of fresh too. water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. I mean, those chickens are my cute. My curse to starve here on this ocean. <laughs> they are. Without seeing your face just one yeah, nice more and time. Plump. Am I? Yes. Are they are they plump or are they just fluffy? I don't know. Then <laughs> we had to make a thing of chicken with the. Uh... I can't remember. But we had to. Like... There's a guy who sold chicken. It's Dominic Armato. As guy for Streetwood! Programmed by Chuck Jordan, Christopher Ria, and Curtis and Jonathan Ackley. You're not reading it, it's your turn. <laughs> Leave background hours, Ben Tiller, background. Lead animator, Mark Cutting Overly, Shoot animator, Derek Saki, Kevin Mix, Miskaliff, Graham Annabelle, Chris Miles, Anton Jew, Junko Ballard, Charlie Summer. Missing your slide! Sound effects uh, down, speech can stay high enough, I guess. Is that better? Sure, down more. A little, a little bit more. Under. A little bit more, but like it's better. I mean, we're not going to play this for like the first chapter, I guess, but. Uh... Don't like the setting stay or something? We're not going to play it. This is, this is through ScumVM. Yeah, but like, but like, isn't, isn't Retmi on its own thing? Yes, Retmi is its own thing. So we don't have to readjust for scum. Yes. All these people are testing. Compatibility tech, so 
Production manager, Kamala Boswell. Production coordinator, Kevin Kelly Taza. Gibbs. Gibbs? Based on characters by Ron Gilbert. Two performers are actor Chuck Jordan, Chris Purvis, and Larry Anheim. And her, and her, and Jonathan Ashton. T H E R M, a her, a her. I do think this is by far the most cinematic How game in the series. How many times do I have to tell you to oh, shut up? Oh, definitely. Feel that way about you, Elaine. By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Father doesn't approve of pirates. Let's just be friends undead. instead. This is what her father approve of. I know, right? <sighs> Let's face it, the Chuck. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. It's funny because you hated <laughs> the previous game. Ah, how romantic! Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I guess that's true. He's been Shabai. gone for like a whole other game now. Creepwood. 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 Guybrush. Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of. Neither do I. We'll find out soon. But you won't escape the taste of my blade. <laughs> Now say what you will about guns and gun control, but a woman who can straight Ooh, shoot is pretty attractive. The lass has spirit. I mean, Elaine is the ultimate woman. Throw yes, him in the hole, yes. and I'll finish him after the battle. I cannot disagree with that statement. Turn loose the long boots and prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Part one. The demise of zombie pirate Lechak. It's that guy! I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! He's so cute! I know! Blast ye scurvy! I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. <laughs> if I rough him up, he may shoot me. We don't want that. Oh, he won't shoot you, though. We know he won't. Stay away! What do you want to say? Actually, no, the, the only correct I'm answer is I'm selling these this. fine leather jackets. Really? No, <laughs> I'm lying. In that case, I don't want one! Well, sorry we couldn't make a deal. Cross me again, and I'll chum for sharks with you. Is that a real eye patch? Aye, sure it be real. Then why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? It keeps the <laughs> dust out of me eye socket. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally, don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious corsair. You can too. Ask me how. What do you want to say? Tell 
me more. <laughs> okay. Tell, tell me, more. me more. Tell me more. Yeah. This leaflet explains Definitely. the basic philosophy Greece? I follow. Yeah. All right. What do you want to? What do I do now? Tell me about these audiobooks. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audio books on parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. Ooh. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? <laughs> all the phrases a pirate needs to command respect Who's a pretty on the high bird? seas. Who's a pretty bird? Who's a pretty bird? Get it, get it, because a, pi a parrot is saying it. Motivational lectures. Well, yes. they were lectures <laughs> as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these seminars. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate. Deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work scum. or I'll beat you with your own legs. What do I want to say? Set me free, Wally! Set me free! Set me free, Wally. Isn't free Wally a movie? Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind What's that behind door? What's behind that door? <laughs> That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. What are LeChuck's plans? What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls ah, yes, of the, the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Snap, Snap out of, out it, of it, Wally! Blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. It's been uh, swell talking to you. You have to call him a failure. I don't want to call him a failure, though. He's too cute. So I don't want to call him a failure either. He is so good, but like, that's how the puzzle works. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh, oh there, there. You gotta pick up the hook. You gotta pick up the gas. Ah! We'll do that. He's had a hard day. He had a hard day. We can do that after we use cannon. We gotta use cannon. Okay, let's do this way easier than with a four second lag. That lag was absolutely killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah the previous time I tried to play this, I was uh, in a place where my intro actually sucked. Because uh, that was just saying too much, I guess, in COVID isolation. But, uh, so I had set this up. I gave grab the controls, but but it was a four second left. <laughs> the entire game that was, was a four second uh, left. Sorry, uh, sorry. And it was and it was so bad. My fault. Babe, stop hitting the wall. 
Why not? I want to go destroy hey, some Elaine stuff. Good at this. Anyway. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> anyway. Let's go talk to Murray. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. I think it would bite me. <laughs> it's a horrible skull. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands on What wanna say? Hi, Guybrush. Sorry about blasting your boat. Um, I'm Guybrush. Um, sorry about blasting your boat. Then that sorrow will be the last thing you feel. You have come face to face with the terrible demon skull, Murray! Now let me hear your screams of terror! Oh, I just got that! The first option was, can I call you Bob? It's because there was a, the skeleton was named Bob in the first game, which is the truck's primary henchman. Ah! I was like, why Bob of all the names I could- anyway, go- I'm now? too petrified to say anything. <laughs> I'm too petrified to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Villains always like laughing so much. <laughs> Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. <laughs> After asking this hey. one, just because this was in that thing, <laughs> the uh, 30th anniversary thing that a monkey, uh, uh, the monkey. You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Will yeah. you? Really? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. Can I call you Bob? Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful Holy crap, demonic his name. force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride to the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride. <laughs> All right, then roll. Roll through the gate of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You're about as fearsome as, no, a, door as, fearsome as a door. Is it a really evil looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. Yes. <laughs> what do you want to say? How can you see without eyeballs? How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. <laughs> well, at least now you never have to worry about what you wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. <laughs> and I look good in hats. There you go. There you go. Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. I'm going now. <laughs> Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> well, that was worth playing this one segment for. It was. Well, let's go rescue Murray. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming. We got you! We got you! Hey! We don't got you! We don't got you! <laughs> we got you the same way that we got our uh, crew on back on Monkey Island. Well, at least I'll never know that we took his arm. They're too heavy to carry. <laughs> you use the sword to cut the rope. You cut the rope to fire the cannon. You fire the cannon. And get... Yes. So I was thinking, we need a knife. But I was like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Taste cold steel. Just got the knife. Restraint rope. Slash. <laughs> Can we let the can taste our cold steel as well? That doesn't need cutting. I don't think you'd like I that. I don't want to disembowel poor Wally. 
Okay. He's too good. I know. He's the true cinnamon roll of this whole game. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Uh, Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh, no! I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Oh no. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, <laughs> glory. It's got a zombie ballerina. Marry me or die. Touching. Touching. I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. I hate to think what that comb's been through. Ooh, a record collection. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. Playing the hits, Letlachuk. Hey. Okay. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. Filthy Luker. Really unclean Luker. Unsanitary Luker. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Well, move the ladder. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. Okay. You gotta find the diamond ring! I see more than enough of him already. A bag. It's a bag, bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Pick up the wooden nickels! Guy Brush, there's hey, literally there's dollars a all around you. behind this bag. Home appliances. Oh wow! A beautiful high you start a home. washer and dryer combination. Chocolate-covered barnacles, marshmallow hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. Ugh. Yeah. Now for the best geology joke there in this entire series. Cause I'm gonna cut through everything. Guy brush? Man of action. Guy brush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Psst. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh. Well, it was yes, true, brush, but I only briefly. I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler. A rogue. A wanderer. A man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads brush, me. stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive! <laughs> but... How did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky just I like wasn't wearing time. my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal <laughs> place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding! <laughs> Guy brush! Uh... Well, at least you hadn't punched me, so if a whole face full of uh, gold fists would probably hurt. Part two! Oh no! Curse gets worse! Curse gets worse! You're not gonna be happy about this. Okay. <laughs> Now can I get popcorn?
Yes. Talk to Murray. Okay, I'm going to go get popcorn. Sounds good. All right. Now we're going to go play Return to Monkey Island. Thank you.